Hello everybody, it's Jim the Gentleman Crafter and I am back from vacation, still feeling a little, oh, I guess yucky still, but you know, that's the way it is. So anyway, here is the Silver Skull Crypt and I wanted to show it to you real quick before Halloween was over. And I um, wanted to show you how kind of I did the details for the sides. So um, here's what it looks like from the side. And what I used was I used the Ink Essentials uh, Silver Foil Sheets to cover this with, with chipboard um, die cuts. I used the little cat feet, um, which are also a, a Tim Holtz die cut uh, from Sizzix, the Movers and Shapers, and um, glued two together to make the thick uh, the, the cats thicker. And um, used them as the feet for all four of them to sit down on. Okay? All four, all four corners. <laughs> so anyway, the, the lid is the lid pops off here, and there's the lid, not covered on the inside. But anyway, um, here is the inside. So when you open it up, you've got four sides right, and the two sides fall down. The feet fold under, which I, I thought was really cool. And um, actually, this cat's having a problem. It came in the car in the back seat with stuff stuffed on top of it um, on the way home. So it was a little, I had to glue a couple things back on. But anyway, here's the, the center. Um, it, the, here it is when it's opened. And um, these are like uh, you saw in the pictures. That it's kind of a gatefold kind of little tag album. And I made the little tags. I used the, I didn't make the tags. I got the little uh, Ranger manila tags and the black the black tags and on the manila tags I sprayed them with delusions um, orange um, chocolate and black so it would be melted chocolate uh, black marble I think and um, I forgot the one the name of the orange but it's one of my favorite I love that anyway and I love this paper the paper collection that I used was a mixture I was trying to get rid of some paper so I had these um, Mombi sheets, um, uh, me and my big um, ideas, and then I also used mainly um, these gorgeous papers from, who is this? Lost and Found Halloween by My Mind's Eye, once again. No, uh, My Mind's Eye is the company, and I love them. I mean, they're, they're so pretty. I got these from Archivers, and um, so I mainly used these but I filled in with some of the, the um, me and my big ideas um, Halloween uh, paper book uh, paper pad so that's that that's a paper collection I used I found these at um, actually at Tuesday morning there was a little section of um, Halloween there wasn't a section there was a little package of Halloween ribbons that was there's one one package left and I grabbed it um, in Hilton Head when I was there so I tied those on and um, this one needs to be tighter. So that's that. So I made little accordion uh, pleated spine here and stuck the little um, envelope looking uh, folders onto the tag and um, uh, onto the um, accordion. Let me start over. I'm sorry. I'm not thinking about what I'm saying. I made some accordion pleats here and uh, pleated it every quarter inch, I'm sorry, every half inch, folded it up, folded it down, went over, folded it up, folded it down, you know, that kind of thing. You've seen it before. And then I attached the um, envelope looking folders to it and stuck, and stuck the tag in, okay? So that's the way that looks. And if you want to, you could pull this out if you want to and do it this way, or way you want to do it. So that is the inside, like that. <clears throat> yeah, I love to do that, it's kind of fun, I don't know why, crazy. And then, so that's that. So that folds back up, the cat feet once again fold back up to hold it in, into place, and the lid um, goes down on it. Okay, so I'm gonna put that over here for a second, and I really wanna get to, to this, so I wanna show you how to do this. Um, I took some chipboard, medium weight chipboard, and I cut from it some more medium weight um, die cuts from Tim Holtz. This is the filigree, and this is the bone and skulls. And um, I glued them on with um, glossy accents onto the chipboard. Can you see that? 
you can kind of see the raised area there. And you don't have to worry about the glue seeping out because it's going to be covered anyway. So this is, once again, um, you can use the uh, ink central foil sheets. Um, anyway, so that's what you do. Oh, back to that. So you, you just make it, you put your, um, <coughs> excuse me, tab structure strips here and cover those as well with the um, foil sheets. And um, I'm sorry, I'm just going to try to pull this off. I can't think and do at the same thing at the same time. Wouldn't you know it? There we go. Um, I ran out of the um, uh, ink central foil sheets. And so this is um, some tape stuff that is a lot harder to work with, actually. It's making me crazy. Oh, Lord, have mercy on my soul. Patience level is not here tonight. Mm hmm. Gonna come off in little pieces. So. This is why I prefer the other over anything else, because this doesn't happen. But maybe you'll have better luck with it, and God bless you. But for me, anything that can save me from a heart attack, that's what I want to use. So, anyway, um, overlap it just a little bit. I kind of push it down in the cracks before I completely take it down. Okay, so let's just stop there, because that's enough for y'all to get the idea kind of did this business with it and, and kind of ran it over with my finger and um, once again if this and once again I haven't said this yet if it cracks and it will like right here don't worry about it because you're gonna um, cover it with black um, paint anyway okay so we've got our tape on right and so the background what we're gonna do the background to give it kind of that texture is I just did little doodles like this all the way around it you know what I mean and it didn't matter and I go backwards and I go overlapping it just doesn't it doesn't matter and that's how I did the background and then um, once you get the back it goes pretty quick and it's kind of fun to do I don't know it's just kind of mindless so um, watching TV or something you can even like I said you can go over it I didn't want it to look like it was lines, and so I kind of go down here and go back up here, go down here, come back up and fill in, that kind of stuff. Just, it's going to be a place for the black paint to get into those grooves and lie and make it look a little bit like it's standing out, which I think is cool. So, um,. Um, I think I said if if the if the foil busts, which it will when you get into these tight spaces, don't worry about it. The black paint's going to cover that up. Just kind of look like you're um, doing your little texture thing. So um, I'm going to go over his mouth. I know his mouth is over here, and I know his nose is here. And once again, see like that. Uh, you don't see that. Can you see where the nose, the foil busted through to the, the chipboard? Doesn't matter because you're going to go over it, like I said, with black paint. So don't worry about that. And even in these little grooves, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to bust. But um, once again, don't worry about that. Um, it, it, it is so much fun to do. I don't know why this is so much fun. I think because I don't have to think about anything. You know what I mean? I don't have to measure anything. I don't have to, to uh, figure out what I've done or how to do it. You know, it's just kind of, you know, how to doodle. So you just kind of do that and let it go. Nothing is wrong. Nothing is, you know, can't go wrong, I guess is what I'm trying to say. If it, you know, if you feel like you need to go back, because like right here, it's kind of open. So I'm going to just go back and fill in and go back over what I've done. Because the more texture I'm giving it, the better it's going to be. So, just like that. That's how I did it. And then I kind of went back and um, pushed this down a little bit further. You know what I mean? 
So then, um, next, actually, you know what, let me put this on pause because I didn't grab the black paint, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with my uh, uh, pitch black paint dauber, okay? So what I'm going to do is I am going to um, just go over this. I'm kind of getting, I want to get those eyeballs and that mouth really good. Um, just those deeper recesses pretty good. And this is like totally a lot of paint. And I'm probably wasting a lot. But that's just what I do. <laughs> Waste stuff, I guess. Anyway, so here is this. So that's what it looks like. So it's kind of a, you know, you see some of the silver through it. But there's a ton of paint on this already. So you don't need to use any more. But I wanted to get shit through, and so I'm doing this business, pulling some of the paint up. Did I just say I had enough paint? <laughs> anyway, there's that. I'm kind of letting it dry just a little bit. Um, so I can pull some more of that off. So I'm gonna kind of wipe it through the air there. And then um, you can pull off as much as you want. So that the black paint kind of stays down in the uh, recessed areas and kind of gives it kind of a, an aged um, look. And of course the eyes are um, still wet but that's kind of what you're looking for is to keep that kind of darker color in there if you want to pull some of it out you can um, but the more I, mean, I think it gives it kind of a more aged effect so y'all that's how I did the outside of the crypt and I promised you I'd show you so that's what I wanted to show you and um, that's it for tonight I am going to um, get crafting I've got got so much to do but I'm um, excited to be back home and excited to be back in my studio and excited to be back in my bed and um, I appreciate y'all I appreciate all your comments and stuff on my blog um, with today's clock and I'm excited about it because I love that little clock you know I should probably go get that but I'll do, you know, I'll do that tomorrow. And then, um, but I, I'm glad that y'all like the clock. I love that little clock. It's just something about it that reminds me of an old uh, carriage clock that I had once that was French. And I don't know what I did with it, but it was a, an old antique carriage clock. And it, it looks just like that. And the wood on the sides, the little dowels on the sides look like it's kind of burled. And I love that too. And I'll show you how to do that. So anyway, um, we're going to do a little pattern. I'm going to do a pattern for it, hopefully this weekend. Sorry, I'm scratching. Um, and we can get we can get going on that one. Okay, so y'all, that's the um, the technique I used on the outside of the, the Silver Skull Crypt. And I hope that you've enjoyed it. Y'all have a great night, and thanks a bunch.